I've got this old caliper on the bench today and I have one of the pistons just just totally stuck I mean it won't move even with a big pair of channel lock pliers now you may consider throwing this away or turning it in on a core charge for a rebuilt caliper but you might want to do something else a lot of these are rebuildable you don't actually know until you open them up if they're too rusty and pitted you know it's not going to be rebuildable but sometimes they're just stuck and it's going to take some hydraulic pressure, that's correct, hydraulic pressure to push those frozen pistons out. And this is what I use right here. That's right. Our fuel injection pressure tester can be used to force those stuck pistons out. And we have a special attachment that hooks to the brake hose. And let me show you how it works. And we're going to find out if this caliper right down here is rebuildable. When you're removing these caliper pistons either with compressed air or hydraulic pressure you do want to put something between them to keep them from flying out. It can create a quite a mess and of course it's dangerous if you're under high pressure. So I use blocks of wood, you can use plywood, you can use pieces of metal, anything that will allow these pistons to move out about a quarter of an inch and stop. So you can kind of get an idea of how easily they're coming out. Now just as a test I'm going to use compressed air here because if you have pistons that are moving easily, compressed air will take them out. So I put this block in place and I'm going to get the compressed air and I'm just going to give it a couple of blasts and see which piston moves. Let's see what happens right now. Okay, see that? It didn't take much, just one blast and this piston came out right here. So this is the good one. This one's not moving at all, and of course this one's the one that's totally stuck, and it won't even move when I use a big pair of channel locks. So I'm going to push this piston back in, because I do not want to remove it. We have to leave this one in place, we have to clamp it down, and then we're going to hook up my hydraulic pressure tester, and we're going to force fluid into this chamber here and try to pressure out this piston on this side. Okay, we're ready to give this a try. You can see what I've done here. I've used a big C-clamp to clamp that other piston down, the one that was moving freely. I've got a couple of aluminum spacers here that I can move out as I force this piston out. I've hooked this up to my pressure testers. This is a special fitting that we sell on my website. So if you already have one of my pressure testers, either for diesel or gasoline fuel injectors, you can buy this attachment fitting and do this to your own calipers. So the first thing I need to do is bleed this line. I have a mixture of diesel fuel and transmission fluid in the tank here. I'm going to go ahead and break the bleeder fitting. And then we'll make sure this is locked up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting fluid out of there. You can see this is a kind of a messy operation. You may have to have some extra paper towels around to collect some of this extra fluid. All right, now I'm just going to pump on this slowly, see if we build up pressure. Did you see that? It popped it right out even before it built up any pressure. Even though it didn't require a lot of pressure here, the fluid did push this piston out. You can see it wedged right in tight to these aluminum plates here. Now I need to remove this clamp. Get the clamp out of here. And I'm going to take one plate out. Let's see if we can get it to move out a little bit further. I may have already broken the seal. Yep, I've already broken the seal and the piston is free. Okay, let's take a look at the piston. Okay, there comes all the fluid. Now this is very typical 
of what I see on a lot of these calipers. This is where it was stuck. Once you get it moving, you know, it's going to come out pretty easily because look at all that crud and junk that's formed right up at the top there. So what we'll need to do is clean this off, make sure it's not pitted. And I think that's going to be okay. Now let's look down in the bore. All right. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some Scotch-Brite pad and we're going to clean these two up and we'll come back. And this will be the true test whether or not we got any severe pitting in here on the bore on this side of the caliper. It only took me about five minutes to clean these up enough to determine this caliper housing is just fine. The pistons are in great shape. Look here before I cleaned out this housing and this bore, it was really filthy. But now look, now if you can see it, how clean that is inside there. You know, I've got a little more cleaning. It generally rusts on this edge outside of the seal, which isn't a problem, but you're going to have to clean all that off. That's where the piston tends to bind up. It rusts outside of the seal along this outer edge, and the piston won't move. Well, if you can come in and polish that, even if that area is a little bit pitted, that's not a big deal. It's down in here. But look at how this piston polished up. Look at it before I started. But look at it now, see how clean that is? Just a little bit of Scotch-Brite and that cleaned right up. So even when you look at these pistons that seem all frozen up and rusty, they can still be rebuilt. And if you have a Mercedes, an older Mercedes that's over 25 years old, you might want to take the calipers off and clean these and reseal them. Not because they're leaking or not because they're not working. It's because they're so filthy inside. There's no amount of brake fluid flushing that you can do that's going to get all the crud that builds up down inside these two piston areas. And that's what's going to cause corrosion and seizing in the future. So we have everything you need on my website. I have a multi-part long, long video which takes you through the whole process of taking these apart, cleaning all the parts, and assembling them properly. Because there is an incorrect way to put these back together. And of course, we also have the fitting for the pressure tester to get these pistons out should you find that yours are stuck and you cannot move them. So check everything out. I'll put some links in the description below this video that will take you right to these different products and kits that I sell that will help you rebuild your own brake calipers.